All right, a follow up to that boat fire on Tuesday in the Sacramento River. The oil spilled from it is getting cleaned up, but listen to this. No one's actually going to take the wreck out of the water. And it's far from the only abandoned vessel in our area. ABC 10's Van 2 explains why the lack of funding is to blame. And a bill, though, is looking to solve this problem. A firefight on the water is over, but troubled waters remain. Once all of the pollutants and hazmat are removed from this boat, it's going to sit in the water. The owner of this privately owned former military watercraft that caught fire on the Sacramento River Tuesday still has not been identified. But that's not the only issue preventing crews from pulling the watercraft ashore. It requires a significant amount of funding in order to remove that boat. The boat is just one of 30 forgotten wrecks in Sacramento County, legally called commercial derelict and abandoned vessels. The problem so huge it would take $34 million to remove them from the Sacramento and San Joaquin Delta, according to Natasha Drain with the county. This is a complex problem. She says there is no comprehensive program that incorporates local, state and federal resources to remove the vessels. That's why the county is advocating for the passage of SB 1065. That would formalize a program and earmark $25 million of one-time general funds to solve the problem. It has bipartisan support. The fact that commercial abandoned and derelict vessels are an eyesore, they also create public health and safety hazards. The pollution can pollute our water, and then of course they can create navigation hazards. Sometimes if they're under the water, you know, boaters might not be able to see them and it creates problems for us. This is a uh, abandoned boat that was uh, dropped off behind this little island here. In 2016, an ABC 10 investigation explored the issue and found it cost the Sacramento Sheriff's Office about $200 per foot to remove a sunken or abandoned boat. Safety laws and recycling regulations had pushed the ship recycling industry out of California, making it difficult for commercial vessels to be properly recycled. In California, owners of recreation Recreational watercraft face fines of up to $3,000 plus cost of demolition. But there is a program for those unwanted boats to be surrendered at no cost.